it do? It's your friendly neighborhood player, partner Chip the Hustler, and we back. We about to react to uh, <laughs> this Southside of Gerbo, uh I guess interview with Funny Marco. I heard it was a uh, it was crazy, bro. Like niggas was on bullshit. Niggas was like, I saw how, like somebody had. I think when well, niggas was just talking about how lame it was and how like you know them niggas was tripping. And shit, you know, um, just how unprofessional and stuff. And then he put out a disclaimer and shit for the Marco did. So, man, we about to get to it. I have no previous opinions or bias. I don't even, I don't really uh, watch Funny Marco stuff, so I don't know. Like, I have no bias, so it's just really a real nigga opinion about to formulate when it come to this shit, man. So stay tuned and just. Stick to it, and we're going to talk about it. So, let's go ahead uh, and knock this shit out. What the fuck is that? Like, on baseball, basketball, more or less players. Oh, you gamble? It's a prize. Oh, yeah, I live in Vegas, so I just go to the, you know? When last time you let somebody hold something? Hold money? Yeah. Like, let somebody, like, you know, like, you good. Like, you gave somebody a pass. What kind of pass? Who don't get no passes? At all. For real? For sure. Uh, so on the prize pick joint, we got um we got the balance in there for 254 and it's not letting you cash out. So I was gonna tell you look into that. I might have to win big. $254? Yeah. So yeah, the, the $254 are in there, so uh can you fix that? Hello? You see the two hundred fifty, uh, two hundred fifty-four dollars in there. Damn boy, man, <laughs> the fuck is wrong with this nigga, man? I'm trying to get it out too. This is my money. I need it now. You trying, to, you trying to send the money over right now? Yeah, to my two fifty-four. Yeah, just take care of it. I'll be back. Yeah. How you doing? I'm wonderful. I woke up. So you got a lot of energy. Where do it come from? My energy? Mm-hmm. The throat. All right, so off the muscle, bro, I can tell you, bro. Like, I, I don't know who the South Side dude is. I heard he was a producer, but I don't know him. I don't follow him. But I can just tell you, bro, like, let's just keep it 100, bro. Like, when you be having conversations with people or you on an interview, even though we kind of know Funny Marco, he do be doing some, he be trolling and, like, be trying to, like, just make moments awkward for you and stuff like that. And it, some people that's just not sharp, like off the head, just like off top. You know what I mean? They be throwing them off, and they just like, you know what I'm saying? So, and that's how you know, bro, got famous doing them little awkward, like, just like the little Bobby female. Um, they be doing them interviews that kind of just like, you know what I'm saying? But uh, like that shit not natural, bro. You could just tell just how he answers his questions, bro. It's just not natural. It's like he trying. It's almost like, bro, I'm gonna keep it a whole stack. It's almost like just, I watched the, uh, I should have reacted to it, but I watched uh, the offset in that, the Bobby, I don't know how you say her name, but that Bobby female, her uh, her uh, her interview with Offset and how Offset was just trying to be, you know what I'm saying? Like, Offset pulled it off well because, bro, that's who he, like, that's who he is. It was smooth, it wasn't nothing disrespectful, but, like, you can kind of tell, bro, trying to do. It's like, bro, started Offset started the trend. You can kind of tell, like, bro, trying to do the same thing Offset was doing because he he probably watched me. He was like, oh, this hard. He on her ass. You know what I'm saying? But, bro, it was natural for him. This shit ain't natural for you. You know what I'm saying? So, like, you could just tell that this shit forced. You know what I mean? I'll, I'll, I'll rip. Like I said, I have no biases from none of them. Like, I don't really, I don't know him. But you could just tell, like, he trying to imitate what Offset was doing. And obviously, from, from what I done seen, like, from all the tweets and shit, it's not gonna fan over with us, so let's go. Is that the hood? Mm-mm. Just like, well, where you come from here, your mind first. No, no, esophagus. Huh? He said esophagus. esophagus. What's that? The throat. Esophagus. So you think <laughs> every, the body starts right here? Yeah. I don't think it works like that. How, how do you think it works? Tell me. From up here, and it goes travel down. I think the body travels to work down. You think it go? 
talking no, about? It actually starts from your feet up to your head. But it takes this, though. Because if you lose this, nothing works. That's how you feel? I don't, have, I don't have this. I was born without this. Are you a Gemini? I'm an Aquarius. Uh, what's that sign mean? A Quimini. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Like, what does it mean? Like, break it down. Uh, Aquarius. Like, yes, sign. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What is, like, what does it mean? What do y'all do? I'm fucked up. I'm fried. So, can we, like, fix it? Like, fix what? Why, why would I fix myself? You want, me, you want to fix me? I mean, because I want you to be, like, gooder than what you was. I've never been good in life. You're good. Yeah, I'm good. Bank account good. That's it. Mm -hmm. You want me to be a better person, is what you're saying? Yeah. I want that for you, too. I do. Where was your first job at? My first job? Mm -hmm. Um, at the airport. How was that? It was horrible. Mm, what? I used to push wheelchairs. You know how heavy the fucking people was? Oh, what about the people that fake injured? Did you like? <laughs> I pushed them too, because they got a real tip. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be like that, you know what I'm saying? Like you was like, you was you pushing wheelchairs? No, I'm saying like with tattoos. Nah, I'd be nah. quiet the whole time. You should. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. This nigga funny. Imagine this guy pushing you in a wheelchair. Not for sure. That was my first job. Though. And he like get a bump or some shit. He <laughs> would say nothing. Not for sure. <laughs> you know? This nigga went from yeah. Michael crazy. Why? Why am I times it? Yeah. Because my dad fucked my mom. Yeah. What day? I don't know. That's a good question. I need to figure that out. Do you feel like you was like planned or he said, oh. My dad, I wasn't planned. Mm. Folks was fucking. Yeah. Do you think they did it to music or no music? For sure to music. What do you think was playing? Huh? What do you think was playing, Usher? That shit was a fucking, that shit was a, like, what you mean? That shit was what do you think you and your mom, what was they playing when they had you? Chip and I were really excited to collaborate with James Hardy. This has been a product we've used. Shit, I was probably just some fucking Al Green or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Five minutes song. He said, My dad knows it in two minutes. <laughs> what you trying to say? He's pound down. This <laughs> <laughs> crazy. What? For sure. So that's dope, though. That's, that's fine. And they created you. Yeah. You get out the womb. I mean, you become successful. You go. Bro, right now, bro, it ain't even like. Ain't nothing really bad going on. It's just, like I said, he, I guess he's just trying to, like, turn it on for him. Like, just like how, uh, Set was doing the Bobby, like he just trying to like, but it's just not. You feel me? It's like, bro, you ever like was in school, bro, and y'all was like, you be checking, y'all be checking this shit at the lunch table, you be finding nigga ass up, and then like, it's just one nigga that just be he just try to jump in and start checking niggas, and then you just like, and then you divert your attention on my get your ugly. You know what I'm saying? You start checking on man, fat nick, big shoe ass nigga, big back, little throat ass nigga, fat no little head ass nigga. Like, like, bro, yeah, that's what we do to niggas like that. Like, nigga ain't got no jokes, no shit. It just, you know what I'm saying? It's like that. Like, niggas be checking. We having a great time. And then little dude come in here and we be like, what? Oh, we finna get on your little ugly. And then you start finding nigga ass up. But like, some niggas just got it, some niggas don't. It, it, but like, I don't know, like, like I said, it, it ain't nothing too like horrendous going on right now. In my opinion, it's just like, oh, he just trying to flip it on him, but it's just not working. Especially like, you know, like, you got another person in here that like, this is what he do every day. You see what I'm saying? Bro, this is what he, he's built his content off of doing this shit. You feel me? And he, and then it's like, you seen the nigga do this, then this is just my assumption, but just like, it's just completely just, in my opinion, bro, I just watched the Offset shit last week, and then this shit come out. This shit could have been recorded before that, I don't know, but I'm saying I watched the Offset shit last week, and then this shit come out, and it's just like, you seen, uh, I said I'm assuming, you seen the nigga do some shit, and now you trying to pull it off when it's not you. And that shit just don't go well. It's just not funny. It ain't. 
You know what I'm saying? It's like borderline lame. You feel me? So yeah, bro. Like when you be not being yourself, like he could have just came over here, bro said some shit. They exchanged their words. You know what I'm saying? He just answered the questions. Nigga just would have been himself. It probably been way better. Cause niggas would have been like, oh, cuz being himself, this is him. And it's funny they gonna get their little last song because it's funny, Marco. You know what I'm saying? It's just platform and shit. But gotta remember, you agreed to come on here. You feel me? So if you can't keep it player, bro, like, you know what I'm saying? Don't even embark on that. Like, you put yourself in this situation. And again, I don't think niggas came on here to be like, oh, we finna hold this nigga. Like, niggas, I just don't believe, like, niggas just wake up to do that, especially on the platform when you got, when you a celebrity. But, you feel me? I do think, again, like, the nigga just, Definitely was trying to flip it on him. I just don't think he was trying to home. But it but shit could turn south like that real quick. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you get you get some drink in you or something, and then like your niggas come, you know what I'm saying? Niggas just starting to shine. And I hate shit like that. Niggas that can't stand on their own, but we ain't even got that far yet. Let's go. Go to high school, then what? I drop out of high school, I quit. Where'd you drop from? A lot of places. Went to like six different high schools. It's impossible to drop from anything if you're not in the air, my brother. I am in the air. Where? The sky. Oh, you have. So, when, what, who was the first artist that, you, that gave you the opportunity to work with them? I gave them niggas the opportunity. They didn't give me the opportunity. All right, let me know who. Let's get the first artist? My $250 when you came here. Shit don't blow me. You want the 250, bro? I give you the 250, right? No, nah, I just, I work for that. All right, you know, I got you, bro. So who was the first, oh, the first artist that you, well, like, like, damn, like, this was dope? Waka Flocka. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then it was just, like, from, for a minute, I thought you was from Miami. Why would you think that? Yeah, like Miami. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. Miami, yeah. my second home, you know? Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then that's when, after Waka Flocka, it was like, when did you start taking it serious? With the beats? Mm-hmm. When the checks came? Mm-hmm. First big check you seen? First big big check I seen? Mm-hmm. Like seven hundred thousand. And then what you gonna do? That with shit it? crazy. I blew it. First check, nigga. Went to the strip club. I ain't gonna lie though. Like I said, his interview ain't ain't that bad right now. So like, like I said, I could just tell that he just shooting the shit right now. But again, you it's just not natural. You don't just go talk to a nigga that you either fuck with or have because these niggas obviously don't have some type of communication. They done seen a nigga somewhere, they gonna, you know, what's up, woo woo You don't really just go to a conversation like this. You hear what I'm saying? Unless, like, I don't know. You feel me? Yeah, I don't know. Unless it was just, like, some, I don't know, bro. But you just don't come to a conversation like this. That's why I be saying, bro, this shit, shit not natural, bro. Where'd you go? A lot of money. What you do with your first beat? But hold on, though. I will say, bro, I don't know if I had said this already. I could have forgot, but, bro, when you get on platforms like this, like Funny Marcos and the Bobbies, bro, like, I ain't going to stunt, though. Like, you bring it on yourself. Not you, but the the, per, the person that's hosting the platform. Like, if this how you have uh, been carrying yourself and stuff like that, this is the type of content you do, bro, you, you bring it on yourself. You feel me? It's like... It's just what it is. You feel me? You just bring this type of shit on yourself. Like, if somebody do turn up like this, it's on you. Because you ultimately get making content off shining on niggas. But then again, these are these these folks already know that when you get on this platform, this is what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? But how far you take shit is the key. You can't just be up here, like, embarrassing and bullying niggas, though. And you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of, like I said, this shit be for content, for show. But sometimes, bro, like, nigga, like, like, you on a platform, bro. I don't know if these niggas care or not, but everybody loves somebody. You feel me? Everybody loves somebody. And so that's why I think, because I had went through the comments before I clicked through this shit. And it's just like, 
Where everybody loves somebody, so you you got to think this nigga done built the platform where niggas fuck with him. They come back and they view his shit, and like he probably I don't know if he interact with niggas in the comments, but he give people like you got to think this nigga change people days sometimes. Niggas can have a terrible day and they come look at dude shit, and he just start they start smiling and make their day better. So you got to think when you come and attack one of these niggas and you on bullshit when you take shit too far, how they gonna react? You know what I'm saying? But stealing yet. Not even just thinking about what how other people gonna react, bro. You gotta think about like, nigga, would you want somebody doing this shit to you? How you treating the motherfucker? At the end of the day, like, nigga, if it was you and somebody was doing you like this, you probably would have fired on a nigga. I ain't talking about this exact moment, but I'm just talking about like the worst shit I heard people saying and seeing people saying on Twitter, like how niggas was acting. So it's it's obviously get worse, bro. This ain't bad, but it's just like, bro, like treat motherfuckers how you wanna be treated. No matter if it's content or not, my nigga, like, bro, I'm not. If it was me, I would go. On, if I was going on there, first of all, I wasn't doing no shit like this. Because for what? I'm not saying that it's a black. It's just like, bro, if I know that I could misconstrue some shit or something, I'm not going over there because then I know, like, I know, like, the wires could get crossed and it could get ugly, bro. You know what I'm saying? I might, I might get sensitive that day. So I'd rather just not put myself in these situations. I'm not saying that I am, but I just it'd be one of the things where I ain't going with, bro. It is, it's just not my thing, bro. Y'all niggas got it. You feel me? But like, yeah, bro, you gotta treat niggas how you wanna be treated. Cause I'm guaranteed if these niggas if the shoes on the other foot, them niggas would have been ready to sh- spark some shit. And it's just like, nigga, that shit ain't straight. That shit really lame. Big Chase. I'm sorry. But what are you gonna do with that big two fifty you got? Go out to eat. What you gonna order? Food. What kind of food? Vegetable, steak, lobster, serpentine. That's a meal for one person. So, back to you. Okay, cool. <laughs> Have you ever drove in a car with bad tags? Of course. This nigga's stupid. How'd you feel when you was in the back of the car? I'm breaking the fucking law. I feel like you're not asking me what you want to ask me. I feel like you just set me up and trying to build me on. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? No. Okay. And you feel like lead into something? <laughs> Hello? Can you credit that in there, please? I think he playing. I don't think that he really looking for the money. No, I got I got I $2.50 $2. in the balance. <laughs> that man's sick of you calling him for his two fifty, bro. You put in <laughs> he called it man for his two fifty dollars, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I did hear somebody. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Oh, you thought it was just me? <laughs> oh. Where did you get that jacket from? Oh, no way. You get these dumbass jackets from. They made me wear it to come to college. Here we got it. Wrinkle in this stink. Motherfucker, stink. It's like a bomb coat. We got to put the money in the cup for you. Because you know what I'm saying? We got to make sure yeah. you oh, You going to get up out of here the right way. He said, yeah. yeah. Hold on, I might not need the 250. Yeah, just still let you want to call him back, bro. You feel me? 250 over with. We ain't tripping about the 250. Well, I got 200. That's all I got for you. Man. That's all you got for him, bro? Hell yeah. All right, bet. The fuck, dude? He got a TV show. What's going on? The TV show ain't air yet. You ain't paid me for coming on here. I ain't got paid yet. You, nobody got paid from the looks of it. I'm nobody to pay the crew. Who on a job? Nobody a job? paid, gang. Okay. You fucking up. Like, don't do the shit I did. Because I used to go years without paying niggas. Like, mm-hmm. You know, make niggas like, on some savage shit. How the hell did this you come about? You're not tough like that. How did what so come about? You can't get away with that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could really like not pay niggas, but you can't. You know what I'm saying? That's my co-host right here. Yeah, Give him a chair, please. can't do that. Thank you. <laughs> Sit my co-host down. Yeah, Go ahead, right, co-host. Take this stupid ass shit off. And we need that money back when we finish. That's our payment. Bro, did you see how this nigga just completely just switched when the nigga G.R.O. came on, bro? Like, nigga just started doing the most, bro. Chill. This nigga just started doing the most, bro. Like, he wasn't even acting like that. Which I mean, bro, right now, niggas just shining, bro, at the same, like, me personally, bro, I don't know why niggas getting hella, I ain't watched that video yet, but I don't know why niggas getting emotional, because, bro, that nigga, Funny Marco, yeah, he on his own platform, you can't, and you, he, he got sponsors, so he can't just go turn up, but in the same breath, bro, he could have, he could have got with them niggas, uh, with, within his, <clears throat> within, like, a certain respect level. And, like, right now, bro, you got to think, bro, he do this shit so much that that this shit probably nothing. Like, he probably did feel a little slighted and shit. Like, he probably was, like, a little, like, 
all these niggas on bullshit right now. And they bet they probably they probably was pissing them off. But again, I think I feel like, bro, he could have got with them niggas if he wanted to. Not on like, oh, we finna squabble or we finna run a fade or no shit like that. But just like just saying smart ass shit. And that shit, and then for me, bro, like that shit would have went left. It just would have went left, and then we wouldn't have put the shit out. We would have just got down, cause it's not live, bro. We would have just got down, would have thumped them niggas and shit, and it would have just gonna be what it was gonna be. But I mean, I, I respect them for taking the high road, but it couldn't have been me, my nigga. But back to these two squares, these two niggas over here is just some nerds, bro. First of all, like I get that y'all niggas is just trying to like it's content, but it's just not. It's not that, bro. It's really lame. It's really nerdy behavior. Did he throw the jacket at the camera? Find your beat. Bro, what? Your moment of calm. Man. Find I your see, potential. Bro. Then own it. The energy your just switched, bro. With a potent like, blend of nutrients. Think... And emerge your best every on, day with up. emergency. I chose Wix for God, my business because of its massive scope for functionality and freedom. Man, I was saying, though... <laughs> It, it it's not that bad yet, but I'm just saying like, bro, like you just can't come on a platform on like I don't give a fuck what's going on and just show your ass like that, bro. I be telling niggas, bro, you gotta remember, bro, like niggas love everybody, everybody got a loved one, you know what I'm saying? And you embarrassing this nigga on a live platform, a worldwide platform when niggas looking at it and his fans and his family and shit. Bro, niggas gonna come see you about you and they gonna feel the way, bro. Like, you already got niggas that don't know you that hate you. You probably could care less. You feel me? But it's just like, nigga, why? Like, people don't understand, like, uh, the, the power of, like, digital real estate and just being, having a digital stamp on you because you can't ever delete this shit, like, he could delete it, but somebody probably, like me right now, I'm doing a little re reaction. This shit going to be on my platform. It can't get deleted. You feel me? Because I'm recording the bitch. And then everybody going to see you show your ass and be a clown and shit. <laughs> Not the edit, though. <laughs> Look at the edits. Real funny, Marco. Yeah, man. What's wrong, though? You good? Yeah. He can't. Hey, this, huh, uh, hey, what age you get? Huh, hold this. He done Come got his jacket off now. He like, oh, my nigga. This is what I be talking about when I be saying niggas be like, you you get around your niggas and you start to switch up or you feel like you high power when you around some niggas. Like how he start, how his energy just switch. This is exactly what I be talking about. It's little nigga behavior, cuz. Like I said, bro, it ain't, bro, it, it ain't no, it ain't no issue. I have no issue with these, but the behavior that these niggas is putting off is little nigga behavior, bro. Like, I literally dropped a video when I was like, bro, I cannot stand when niggas get around their homies and they get charged up. There's been plenty of times when I've been one-on-one -on -one with a nigga and a nigga been like, cool. Like, it's being, all right, what you gonna do? Niggas, you, is you trying to do something? Nigga, nah. When a nigga be with his nigga, it's like, oh, that energy done changed. But little do you know, bro, I ain't by myself, nigga. I'm about to... Whoop the fuck out of one of you niggas And if it go anywhere else It's gonna do it's, We gonna really do something different Like you know what I'm saying I'm just saying this to say bro I cannot stand When niggas get in front of their people And act tough Cause when you by yourself It's not really that You try to keep this shit cool Cause you don't know how this shit gonna go But as soon as you think the odds in your favor Nigga wanna turn up This shit crazy <laughs> Little nigga behavior homie Come on just stupid ass out of AJ Strong was here. <laughs> yeah. Listen to this shit, bro. Just like oh, niggas like... just tripping though. Bruh. Listen to him, fool. Yeah, that's a cunt. I, hey, what age you at? Huh, hold this. Your ass getting two hundred dollars, boy. I got him. Like, never mind. Just stupid ass out of AJ Strong was here. <laughs> yeah. How's life? <sighs> life. Mm -hmm. This shit fun though, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Man, life fun as fuck right now. Amazing. So, this is dope. Y'all watch wrestling growing up, right? Watch what? Wrestling. Like, like, oh, oh, oh Hulk smash. Like that. If you guys became the Undertaker, who became? Who be Undertaker? Uh, I'll be Undertaker, he'll be yeah, Kane. He'll be Undertaker, I'll be Kane. What yeah. makes him Undertaker? Because he's fucked up. I'm fucked up, bro. He said that. I'm Kane, because it's like. Chill? I'm just here. I'm just. 
he Undertaker, I gotta be Kane. What the fuck else I'm gonna be? If he Undertaker, who else I'm gonna be, dumbass? <laughs> 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 fucking idiot. Ain't they brothers? He ain't fucking ain't brothers, under- bro. Like, what the fuck? Okay, so if he Undertaker, I'm Kane, dickhead. You could be the referee. No, you the referee. And see, this is what I'm saying, bro. Like, personally, bro, I'd be like, nigga, who the fuck you talk to? But we recording. I'm like, cut the camera, bro. Hold on, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's what it would have been. Uh, I can't do shit like that. You feel me? But I told y'all before, bro, bro, do this shit. So, like, this shit be on phase. Like, it might have been not cool, but it's just like, bro, I do this shit every day, bro. Like, I, I, I get on niggas' top all the time. So, it's just like, shit, I can take it. But I still got to get this shit cracking, bro. This is, you know what I'm saying, nigga? I need clicks. I need all this shit. So, I'm about to weather the storm. But that shit is some nerd shit. Like, bro, why is you, you feel me? Come on, bro. And you know my thing, bro. This nigga, I don't know anything about Funny Marco, bro. But I know uh, G Herbo was talking about, oh, I can do shit like that. I can't, I ain't got to pay people back because I'm a tough ass nigga. Like, bro, one thing I know is, bro. It's always somebody tougher out there for you. And then I done seen video, well, not like clicked on them, but I done seen videos to where like niggas was talking about he went like all that tough. And like he was riding off another nigga coattails and shit. So, bro, like, be careful how you treat niggas, bro. Cause this niggas out here that don't like you, that like this, that don't, that's, that's gonna like see this shit and be like, oh, cuz don't even be like that. He a whole bitch. We should really pull his car cause he over here pressing some things and shit. Like you gotta remember that. I mean, I don't. And like I said, they might get. It might not even be no smoke like that. It might just be the viewers like making it worse than what it really is. Yeah, he talking shit, but it's like, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. It could get worse though. Stupid. Referees do be tricky. Yeah. Fuck, did you get that hat from, bro? That's what I would have too. I'd have been on that nigga top. Some Target nowhere found. Let me see this stupid ass hat. <laughs> that dumb ass shit I want, dude. <laughs> oh, I would have smacked that nigga, dog. Look at that nigga. He probably like, dog. He lucky. I'm trying to get man. I would have primed that nigga dead in his face, bro. What? So as I would have seen that bitch go, I'm talking about as that bitch was. You know, he hit that nigga right in his motherfucking nose, bro. Then I would have been on that nigga Nick. Nick's like, I was like, hey, cut the camera, dog. Full blown melee in this bitch. <laughs> This nigga's just violated right there, though. Like, that's nerve behavior, bro. Straight nerve behavior, bro. Bro, he, he definitely gonna need it with him after the after this show, for sure. Like, I would have got up with them niggas on that. Just because he condoning it, he laughing, bro. I'm on his ass, too, bro. Like, bro, I just, I just got a low tolerance for bullshit. I don't have patience for shit like this. Like, patience for dumb shit. Patience for niggas trying to shine. Like, every nigga that's ever tried to shine on me, bro, we probably done got down. Or, like, the nigga know I don't fuck with you. And if, and it depending on the situation, and depending on, depending on the situation, depending on, like, the circumstance at the time, we either got down, or you know, bro, like, if, if I catch you at the right time, it's over with. I just don't like that shit, bro. Like, be who you are, bro, in front of your friends, without your friends, all that. Don't come in here trying to play me. Maybe maybe I could be sensitive in that aspect where I don't like niggas trying. I don't. I just like niggas being who they really are, bro. And if I'm the type of nigga that we're gonna get off me and get back on the thing, but I'm the type of I'm just trying to give you a, a clear thought of how I think. I'm the type of nigga that if let's 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 take a picture of a classroom right now. You got twelve desks on one side, and then you got this one desk on the other side, away from everybody. I remove myself from situations so we ain't gotta be. You know what I mean? Like niggas don't. Fuck with me. If if you do fuck with me, you went out of your way to fuck with me. So wherever I take it after this, that's where we gonna go. And that, like I said, that shit was blatantly disrespectful right there. I would have slapped the fuck out that nigga, bro. I would probably, bro. Maybe my attitude bad. I don't know, but just like, no, I'm. I be chilling ninety nine percent of the time though. But it just be certain shit that just be like, dog, really? Come on, nigga. Uh, guys, this is very the best episode ever, and I'm, I'm enjoying myself right now. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> you gotta hold up the fingers, you know the fingers? Man, give me some more liquor, man. That's the, the way fingers I'm gonna enjoy myself. The fingers, that's the distress call. Oh, Can I have yeah. alcohol? The fingers, you gotta hold it. You know the fingers, that's the distress call. Alcohol, <laughs> alcohol, alcohol, alcohol. Thank you, that's my man's name. Trey P, put your face on the camera. No, no, I'm gonna turn you up. It's my dog. Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> you know it don't cost like me that. nothing to do that. Yeah. Is you a real nigga or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm definitely real. I don't think you are. I'm definitely real. I take the charge. If I Your son to. hates you. Yeah, I know. He really Nah, hates my you. son don't hate nobody. He pure. He just don't like you. Yeah. I don't like you either. <laughs> what? Your son hates you. He really nah, hates you. Nah, my son don't hate nobody. He... Yeah. But no, nah, I ain't gonna lie. My son, yeah. the first time I ever heard my son say he hates somebody, I swear to God, he really said it during the cap. He didn't even cop a cold. It's like midnight. I really hit him at cop a cold. Boom. He see Buck on cap. Buck always fucking with him. Buck so <laughs> on cap, Lord, we riding past. I got the. Mind the conversation or just him? Shut the fuck up, you dude. Just make it, bro. You, you're not even like Listen. this. Our show now, bro. You feel so, me? Swerve and curve. We putting off a cop a cold. I swear to God, he's. If it was me. Like I said, when they say, I said the niggas at the beginning and kind of didn't mean no harm, when he threw the hat, bruh, all the jokes would have been over with. All, if I would have said, I, it wouldn't even been no question like, is your mom in the conversation? I would have been socked that nigga out. But after that, when they said this shit, ah, oh, bruh, bruh, I'm telling you, they would have been like, bruh, this nigga, <laughs> this nigga really raging right now. This nigga really gonna turn into the hook right now. Shirt would have been off. Hat would have been like the little nigga in the uh, Alabama boat crisis. You feel me? <laughs> my niggas that would, cause I would have had my niggas there off rip, but I do the shit without my niggas. If you, my niggas would tell you, bro, that niggas really be tripping when they when they be when they when they be time. Nigga be chilling, but that nigga when they be time to trip, the nigga would trip. They ain't let you know, but. Yeah, I would have been raging. I, it it, it would have took three three of them niggas to get me. <laughs> ask me anybody you know that know because ask my mama, ask all the homies, ask my daddy. Like when I get brought to that point, bro, I'm raging, bro. I, it would have been over with. Especially he told that shit. You shut the fuck up. This my shit. Shut up. One thing, bro. Like we ain't even checking no more. We ain't even. They not even checking anyways. It's just like some little satire, dry dry humor shit. It was they was never checking, but it ain't no none of that no more. You threw my hat. That's the first. That's the fuck, bro. This shit would have, bro. That's the first mother. Then when the nigga told me to shut up, just make it, bro. You, you're not even like Listen. this. Our show now, bro. If it's so swerving curve. That nigga, that nigga. So so but now nah, I ain't gonna lie. You can't my son didn't even cop a cold. It's like midnight. I really hit him at Copper Cold. Boom. He see Buck on Cap. Buck always fucking with him. Buck Buck him. On Cap, look, we riding past. I got the Mind the conversation or just him? Shut the fuck up, just dude. Just make it, bro. You, you not please. even like this. It's our show now, bro. I'll smack that nigga. Boom. Boom. We were like, oh, shit, for real? Like, yup. He see Buck. I swear to God, my son say, Dad. He said, I hate that bitch. Who Buck? <laughs> you hear me? Who Buck? Who Buck? Huh? Who Buck? Oh, you don't want to be bucked. Yeah, shut bro. the fuck up. Bro. Yeah, bro. Just shut the it, fuck bro. up and listen. You're going to come back in in a minute, bro. We got you, bro. I'm sure. Look, okay, you said, I hate that bitch. Walking off from, from Copper Cove, I spent the block. I told him, I said, but my son said, he hate you. He said, daddy, I hate that bitch. He said, daddy, I hate that bitch. On cap, that's what he said about Buck. Yeah, how are you? Just moving. I hate you. crazy. That nigga. I ain't even. I ain't even finna, finna go click the rest of it. That's just my last little two cents of it, bro. I would've beat that nigga the fuck up, both of them. First nigga I would've hit would've been Erd. Then the next nigga I would've hit, after I would've stole on that nigga with that nigga, then I would've been ping-ponging them niggas. And then my niggas wouldn't have got up, dude, after I got, my niggas would've jumped on them niggas, though, or pulled me off on them, but it, I would've rather my niggas jumped on them niggas, but if my niggas didn't jump on them, then I'm jumping on my niggas after I get finished raging on these niggas. After them niggas gone, cameras off, bro, we gonna have to get it with them. <laughs> I had to get it with my niggas because, yeah. But my niggas wouldn't let that shit slide, though. After I got mine off, they would let the fair one go down after I whooped two of them, 2v1. 
And then, and like I said, I ain't the toughest nigga. I don't, I don't claim to be, but some shit just pissed me off. I, I could have got my ass whooped, but I, I'm just not going. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going at all. That shit. I don't think that it. it I don't think it really got disrespectful to the niggas. Just threw his hat and started saying shut the fuck up and all that other shit. Like shit was just lame as hell. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, it's. it's you put yourself in these situations when you be trying to be. I'm not saying funny Marco deserved this shit, but it's just like, bro, you gotta remember, bro. Niggas watch this shit and be like, nigga, that shit with me, bro. It's exactly how I'm doing right now. Like, so you gotta remember, bro, when you put yourself in these situations, shit like this could happen. But yeah, I would have had to wreck some shit. <laughs> yeah, man, them niggas was on some bullshit. It was some ner- straight nerd behavior, dog. Like, dog. Niggas give, like, I don't know if niggas, them niggas always been like this. I doubt it. I know when you cut them blinds off, them niggas is real cool, more than likely. But, like, like to they self and shit. But when niggas put that character on, niggas just be different. And, like, bro, yeah, that, that famous shit is a damn drug, bro. Like, it, I can't believe them niggas thought that shit was cool. I don't even know if you, I mean, higher or not, bro. Like, liquor or not, bro. That shit was not cool, bro. We would have, bro, I promise you. My niggas would have never let that shit slide. I would have never let that shit slide. I don't care if it was a room full of five niggas, bro. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? It'd be different if they had guns, though. I'm going to let y'all have it right now. <laughs> but I'm going to catch one of you niggas by yourself. It could be a BT Awards. It could be whatever. Sprint, knock your ass out. If I don't get away, it's just an assault charge. <laughs> when I get finished with you, though. Man, this shit was really lame. But anyway, this is your boy Trippy Hustle, man. If you like the content, like, whatever. Leave a comment. Leave a suggestion or whatever. And we're going to go from there. And if you did really like it, man, sub, man. Fuck with me, bro. I'm gone.